Hello and welcome to week number 32 of our 2024 baking challenge. Today we're kicking it back and I know we did lemon two weeks ago, but it's my challenge and I can bake what I want and lemon is where it's at. So we are baking lemon squares. It seems like a pretty straightforward traditional recipe, so grab your ingredients and let's bake. We're starting off with the crust. So first off, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You need an eight inch square baking dish. You're gonna to wanna to line that with some parchment paper. That way you can pull your dessert out when it's done. In your mixing bowl or your mixer, you're gonna have a cup of all-purpose flour, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a cup of confectioner sugar, and then eight tablespoons, one stick, of room temperature butter. And that is absolutely what I have here. Definitely room temperature. All right. Do, 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 do. Work the butter until it's evenly distributed. The mixture will be crumbly. I am gonna use my little pastry mixer for this. It shouldn't take too long, just a couple of minutes. Now that did take me a couple minutes to mix by hand, but that's okay. Next up, we are going to press the mixture into our pan. I'm getting all of this off of here. It is crumbly looking. Uh, the butter does help it stick together. My butter, it's warm in here today, so my butter's probably a little more room temperature than it should be. That's okay. That's all right. So I'm just gonna kind of spoon it in here um, and then I'll use the spoon to help press it down. If the mixture starts to stick to your hand, you can stick it in the freezer for a few minutes. That's just that butter getting very melty. Kind of why I'm using a spoon, honestly, because I feel like my hands are hot. I will probably switch to my hands just because now it's sticking to the spoon. You're gonna to wanna to pack it very tightly, especially into the corners because you don't want any of the filling getting underneath your crust. So make sure you're getting it, make sure you're getting it very well packed. Waiting for my crust because it's in the freezer because it's too warm and it's melty. All right, I just pulled this out of the freezer because it was, <laughs> darn it, I think I left it in the freezer for too long now. I can't win with this. That's okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put some elbow into it and make it work. It's just this one corner that I have to get and then it'll be fine. Um, but I think I smushed not a little too much in the middle, so now I'm gonna smush toward my edge. <laughs> I did not know it was gonna be arm day today, but here we are. Definitely making sure that you're getting your corners and your edges very, very tight. You gotta make sure, because that's where your filling's gonna to try to go. Just a little more to do in the corners. All right, I think I don't see any bare spots. So I'm gonna call this, I really should stop poking around on it if I don't see any bare spots. Um, I'm gonna call this good. Okay, from here, you're going to put this crust into the oven for 30 to 35 minutes until it's golden brown. You're gonna take it out of the oven and the minute you do, you're gonna set your temperature down to 325. And then while this is baking, we're gonna make our filling. All right, my crust is in the oven. Here we go. We are going to combine four large eggs plus one large egg yolk, just the yolk. You'll have to separate that. I use my hand, not a fancy tool. And before I add anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and whisk these. All right, now for our sugars. In this bowl, I have got a cup and two tablespoons of granulated sugar 
and three tablespoons of confectioner sugar. I also have my eighth of a teaspoon of salt in there. I know it's a lot of sugar, but we are dealing with lemons. So you're gonna wanna whisk that completely until it's smooth. It's pretty smooth. Now you're gonna add a fourth of a cup of flour and your salt, if you haven't already. And we're gonna whisk that until smooth. And now we're adding our two thirds of a cup of lemon juice. This is not fresh squeezed lemon juice. I don't care. It's gonna taste the same. And honestly, the recipe didn't for once call for it. So I'm gonna whisk this really well until thoroughly combined. It smells amazing. There we go. That's good for me. Now we're gonna let it sit here for about 15 minutes until the bubbles mostly disappear, okay? It is very important to just not touch it. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have put mine in a bowl with a pour spout. That's gonna make that easier. When the crust comes out of the oven, we're going to pour this directly into it while the crust is still hot. Okay, I am dropping my temperature down to 325 and pulling this crust out. It's been in for about 30 minutes. It is starting to get golden. It smells amazing. And now, let's see here. While the crust is still hot, we're going to pour the topping over it. And we're gonna stick these back in the oven and bake them for about 30 minutes. Okay, here we go. I'm pouring it directly in the center. Um, and my filling just overflowed my uh, paper. So this is gonna be a mess and that is on me. I kinda didn't think about it. Rats. Oh well, nothing I can do about it now. This is gonna go back into the oven. Okay, for 30 minutes, oh boy, that is sad. You know, it may end up being a mess, but hopefully it'll taste great. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this on for 30 minutes. Now, it says that they should appear set and relatively dry on top, about 30 minutes. So check them and make sure you can just gently touch the top and make sure that it's set. You're gonna pull the bars out of the oven when they're set, put them on a cooling rack and let them completely cool. All right, I'll see you back when that is ready. So I didn't have my paper in the pan as good as it should have been and my filling absolutely overflowed. It was a real pain to get out. I was also concerned because when I took it out, it didn't jiggle on top. It did look dry, but this is the first time I've made something like this. So I went ahead and used my thermometer as well to make sure that it was at least 160 degrees, which I believe is what the egg temperature is. So this doesn't look really pretty right now. Once I slice it into bars and dust with sugar, it's gonna look gorgeous. Let's taste it though and see how it is. A little bit of this. Mm -hmm. The crust is similar to the shortbread that we made. The filling is gooey with that zest of the lemon, but it's not overly tart. So I think the, uh, the sugar to lemon ratio was right in this. All in all, um, I need to figure out how to use parchment paper and pans, but I'm gonna call this a win. Well, that's it for week number 32. I hope that you baked along and that you now have a delicious lemon dessert. If you would like to tune in next week, we have another dessert, this time on the other end of the dessert flavor spectrum. 
So hit the subscribe button below. You can also go over to the Facebook page. Every Wednesday morning, I will post the ingredient list and the name of what we're making for that weekend. That way you can get your shopping done if you wanna participate. I am going to go peel this off of the paper, cut it into squares and make it presentable. And I will see you next Saturday.